Okay, so this is gonna be a special video because today is also quite a special day. Today, one year ago, my father died. He was a real outdoor sports and nature enthusiast. He for sure showed me everything I needed to know to get to where I am right now. And when I was when I was really young, like when I was a, a baby, he already carried me on his shoulders to the top of the mountains. We spent all the time we, we could spend together outside. When I was a little bit older, he took me to mountain bike races almost every weekend. We spent a lot of time together there. And until the very last day of his life, he supported my career with everything he could. For sure he was my biggest fan and for sure I was his. He loved to ride his bike. Uh, he did this almost every day and one year ago he went for a bike ride once again and when he came back he had a heart attack and he died. I couldn't understand this. This was totally like unexpected. He was 65 years old. He was very healthy. He was very strong. I just died from one moment to the other. I really started to ask myself how how can it be? Like what's what's the idea of life of building up something when from one moment to the other you can just die? Like why putting all this effort in? Why trying to make something out of your life with with everything you can if from one moment to the other you can just die? I really couldn't understand it. So I kind of lost the sense in life really and I really started thinking about it of course I was all involved in my projects but I I wasn't motivated anymore I started thinking about it and I said well I probably have just have to take it as it is I mean we are in this world and we yeah we all want to live I mean I for sure want to live so starting from this point the only solution for my problem was that I should probably just focus on what really makes me happy. I should try to do what makes me happy as much as I can. <sighs> yeah, so <laughs> it's just a simple thought. This is where this is where it started. Really, it started off with what can I do to get as many happy moments in in my life as I can. So with this thought in the back of my head, I just kept on doing what I, what I had to do. My motivation to go to Alaska to do a project for Dynafit with my friends in the first days or weeks after my father died was not really big. But as, as I said, I started focusing on, on just doing what I really like and just doing what really makes me happy. And I can tell you right now, the last 12 months for sure were the best 12 months in my life so far. Well, I love mountains and I love to play in the snow. So it all started off when I went to fly my super cup on skis and climbed mountains in the middle of nowhere with my friends during a project in Alaska. It was hard work every day. I did the flying, the filming and I climbed all the mountains. But the rewards were incredible. But without my closest friend I went on a little hike and fly training adventure with my friend Tom the Dolado. The x was coming up and I wanted to be strong again, of course. With the x I started this YouTube channel. And I will do a daily vlog for you guys. To share my experiences and adventures with all of you while racing in the x for the fourth time already. South to Monaco. <laughs> Trying to give my best. It's good. Every time I take part at the Exerbs, 
It shows me that everything is possible if you're willing to work hard for it. That made me happy every single step of the way. After that, I went back to Alaska again. I landed in some amazing locations, so bears and the most incredible sunset ever. I can't believe this. <laughs> this is the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen in my life. I just love this place. I did the Red Bull Dolomitenmann another time. The first time in 11 years that my father wasn't cheering for me next to the running section. It was different. I married my best friend, my daily inspiration, and the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> to celebrate what we did, we went to Mallorca. There, we celebrated love once again, when Sophia and Tom got married. In quite a spontaneous moment, we decided to travel to Morocco, where I tried to learn how to surf. I managed somehow in the end. I guess it's never too late to learn something new. After celebrating the beginning of the new year in style, I traveled to Argentina to meet Andy Hediger, the airman himself. I learned to fly in Archaeopteryx, a sailplane, and spent hours in the best possible seat to look at the world from above. This place was pure inspiration. I got invited to take part in a competition in Colombia that included everything I love to do. Running, paragliding and mountain biking. Although I was really doing bad at the running, in the end I could win it. Directly from there I came to California to study and fly for my instrument rating and commercial pilot license. I took my father on every single step of the way in the last months and I will keep on taking him wherever I go in my mind. What started off as the worst year in my life turned out to be the best year in my life after all. And what I've learned from my own experience now is that do whatever you love and do it as much as you can. Find your passion and go for it. Find your dream and make it come true. Take advantage of the incredible capabilities of our body to explore the beauty of our planet. Life is about living it and nothing else. Thank you.